finding any easy seat that feels good for you, finding our position as we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in, exhale through the mouth, breathe in deeply, exhale fully. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body as we slightly gaze our eyes downward or close our eyes, if that feels good for you. Tucking our tummies in at our navel. Our spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Having a nice, nice long spine gives us control of our bodies. As we relax our shoulders downward away from our ears. A lot of times we sit in tension, not realizing that our shoulders are shrugged. So just being mindful as we relax those shoulders down, this allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. It also helps with tension we may feel in our neck and our shoulders. Just taking a moment to notice how the pose feels within the body. Chin is slightly up. As we breathe in, exhale. Feeling the breath in the body. As we flow our palms above our heads, coming into that seated salute, palms are together, chin is slightly up, tummies are tucked in at the navel, spinal cords are nice and long. That heart chakra is open, meaning that chest is lifted. Breathing our palms down the heart center, coming into that seated prayer, relaxing those palms at heart center. Feeling those shoulders relax down. As we flow back to our salute, breathing our palms above our heads, palms are together, chin is slightly up, holding the pose. Breathe in, exhale. As we separate our palms, our palms are separated. We are now in our seated extended mountain. Now, a lot of people get the seated salute and the seated extended mountain confused. The salute is when our palms are together, our seated extended mountain or when our palms are separated. So taking a moment to notice the difference between the two. As we twist our bodies towards the right, coming into that seated twist, palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over that left shoulder. Feeling this spinal twist, this relaxes and soothes the spine. Allowing those eyes to gaze down, feel the body relaxing. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling our bodies back to center, we're going to come into that seated star. And our seated stars, our palms are slightly out towards the side. Noticing how this star is very similar to that seated extended mountain, but in that star, palms are out towards the side. So just taking a moment to notice the difference between those poses as we twist our bodies towards the left, palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over that left shoulder, coming into that seated twist opposite side. Feel in that spinal cord soothe and decompress. Eyes are slightly gazed down. Three more breaths. Two breaths. And telling our bodies back to center, coming into that seated star, breathing those palms out towards the side, keeping that chin slightly up, their heart chakras open. Flow into our seated extended mountain. Palms are above our head. They are not together. Exhale into that seated salute. Palms come together. Breathe down the seated prayer. Bringing those palms at heart center. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. As we take this time to check in with self. Noticing how we feel in our present moment. May we go inward. Four breaths of silence. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Relaxing our palms beside our bodies. Our palms are connected to the earth. Taking a moment to tune in to our environment. Noticing what's going on right here, right now, in our present moment. Simply being aware. 
During our session here today, we may hear noises, we may hear sounds, we may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us and our practice here today. Three more breaths. As we flow our bodies into our recline position, we're gonna lay flat on our backs, breathing our knees into our chest, hugging those knees into the chest, taking a nice deep breath, exhale, allowing those shoulder blades to relax flat to the yoga mat, just feeling those shoulder blades ease into the earth as we are connecting to our environment. Two more breaths. Exhale, extending our legs straight up in the air. Feeling that stretch, pointing our toes upwards towards the heavens, just pointing those toes in that plantar flex. As we reach our hands up to the lower parts of our legs, we're going to breathe our legs towards our bodies, feeling that stretch, connecting your hands to your ankles or your feet. Exhaling back up to legs on the wall. Legs are straight in the air. This is the legs on the wall pose or invisible wall in our case. As we breathe our legs and we're coming into a happy baby, allowing those knees to come to the chest, feet is up in the air. We can breathe our hands between our thighs, bringing them outwards towards the edges and connecting our hands to our feet here. Here in our happy baby, we are relaxing and soothing our spine. This happy baby is also a hip opener here. You'll notice how this may feel within your inner thighs. We are using this pose to relax and soothe as well as open up our hips. Slightly gazing the eyes down. We can option to rock that body from side to side, using the earth to relax and soothe that spine. Or we can simply stay still in our happy baby, just feel in a pose for four more breaths. Two more breaths. <clears throat> Extending our legs back up in the air, legs on the wall pose. Reaching our hands down to the bottoms of our legs, breathing our legs towards our bodies, feeling that stretch. Maybe your buttocks come slightly off the floor, coming into a deeper stretch. Exhaling back to legs on the wall pose. We're going to do a little tummy crunch, coming into a boat pose. Crunching our body up and feeling that in your abdominals. Coming into that boat pose, squeezing those abdominals nice and tight. Our feet are in front of us, up in the air. We can cross our feet at our ankles if we choose, or we can extend our legs straight up in the air. Whatever boat pose feels good for you, we are working our abdominals, keeping our backs nice and straight. We are gaze forward, chin is up. Three more breaths. Two breaths. We're going to hold this pose. We're going to breathe our hands inward, crossing our feet at our ankles, and we're going to pound our hands from side to side. Noticing how we are working our abdominals as well as our obliques. Building strength in our core. Four more breaths. Going as fast or as slow as you choose. Tummies are tight. Two more breaths. We're going to do a bonus here. Two more breaths, working their abdominals. Finding our paws, coming up to that boat pose, lifting those knees to the chest. We're gonna bring our hands to our feet, connecting our hands to our feet. Straightening that back up, feel that back straighten, yes. Because if we don't straighten our backs, we will fall. And sometimes falling is fun here. Okay, we're gonna hold this pose, tummies are tight. And we're gonna straighten that left leg out towards the sides, feeling that stretch, just straightening that left leg. You'll feel this here in your inner thigh, here in your hamstrings. This is a boat pose variation. Three more breaths. Chin is slightly up. Two breaths. Exhale, breathing that leg back inward. Both of our hands, palms are in our feet, feet are in our palms. 
As we extend that right leg towards the sides, feeling that stretch in the inner thighs, the hamstrings on the opposite leg, boat pose variation. Keeping that back straight, tummies are nice and tight. Two more breaths. Exhale, breathing out those feet back together. Then we're going to extend that left leg out again, feeling that stretch. If all feels well, we're going to extend that right leg out. We are in that full boat pose variation. We can option to bend our knees if that feels good, or we can straighten those knees, whatever feels best for you and your body. Keeping that tummy tight, the backs are nice and straight, elongated. We're going to gaze forward with that chin slightly up. Four more breaths. Core is or tight. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Flowing into a bound position, bringing the bottoms of our feet together. We are in our diamond or our butterfly. In our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. This is a bound position. This is another hip opener. This diamond, this butterfly pose is really deep. So we can also option to flow into a diamond pose, just bringing those feet a little further from the body. Both poses look identical, but one is a diamond, one is a butterfly. This pose is good for people who have tight hips. We're going to bring our hands to our feet, and we're just going to gaze our eyes downward. Tummies tight, backs are straight, chin is slightly up. And taking a moment to massage our feet here in our bound position. Doing whatever feels good to your toes, to your feet. Just giving your feet a little love. As we know, our feet carries us everywhere we go, unless we're in a wheelchair. Our feet carry the weight of our bodies. So as our feet are connected together, we are showing our feet some love, some affection. Eyes are gazed down are closed. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Using our hands to breathe our knees back together. We're going to flow back onto our backs, hugging our knees into our chest, that reclined position, knees to chest. Taking a nice deep breath. We're going to allow our knees to flow towards the left side, recline spinal twist. Knees flow to the left. You may feel that spinal cord twist and decompress. You may even feel it crack in here. As that right arm comes out to the side, our shoulders or our backs, our heads are relaxed onto the earth. We are gazed over our right shoulder if that feels good. Or we can simply just gaze up at the heavens, whatever feels best for you. Maybe slightly close our eyes. We can option to straighten that Right leg out to feel that stretch a little deeper. If we choose, here in our spinal twist, we are soothing and relaxing. We are decompressing our spinal cord. We are connecting to the earth. We are relaxing and soothing. Silent meditation, five natural breaths. Three more breaths. Exhale and back to center, hugging those knees into the chest. Breathe in. Exhale, lower those knees towards the right. Recline spinal twist, opposite side. Left arm flows out to the side. Our shoulders are relaxed on the earth. Our head is relaxed on the earth. We can option to gaze over that left shoulder, feeling that twist a little deeper. Or we can simply gaze up at the heavens as we slightly close our eyes, relaxing here, soothing the mind and the body. Five natural breaths of silence. 
Actually, need to straighten out that leg if that feels good. Three more breaths. Hello. We're going to exhale back to center. Hug your knees into our chest. Hmm. Placing our feet flat on the earth. We're going to use our feet and our buttocks, our hips to lift our buttocks off the earth. Feeling that gluteus maximus, that buttocks crunch here. We are lifting and rounding that butt. Lifting that butt off the earth. We're going to Relax our palms underneath our buttocks. Interlacing our fingers if that feels good. And maybe we can walk our shoulders towards our spinal cord. Noticing that your chest comes higher in the air as we walk those shoulder blades towards the spine. And that lifts our booty, our gluteus maximus up higher. Feeling that hip rise. We are here in our bridge pose. We are rounding and lifting that gluteus maximus. We worked our abdominal muscles. We might as well work our Gluteus maximus, lifting it up and squeezing it nice and tight, feeling that burn. We can option to squeeze it up and hold it nice and tight, or we can slightly cross it down and then cross it back up. We're going to feel this burn. Bridge pose. Six, let's make it seven natural breaths. Nice and tight, gluteus maximus here. Buns are still. Five more breaths. Lifting and rounding that buttocks. Three more breaths. Pulsing slightly down. We're going to pulse downward. Then we're going to come up and squeeze that gluteus maximus. Squeeze, squeeze. Feeling that burn. Our gluteus maximus muscle is biggest muscle in our bodies. Our buttocks can be lifted. We can work that muscle. And we can lift and round our buttocks. So feeling that squeeze. <sighs> feeling that burn. We're going to do a bonus here. Four more breaths. Working that gluteus maximus muscle. Pulsing it slightly down. And pulsing it up. Two more breaths. Squeeze, squeeze. Uninterlacing those fingers, untucking those shoulders, relaxing that buttocks down towards the earth. We're going to breathe those knees into the chest, hugging them in. Feel that stretch. <sighs> Exhale, relaxing the body. We're going to take that right leg, lower leg, and cross it over that left thigh. We are in our reverse pigeon pose. We're going to breathe and bring that leg towards our chest. Feel that stretch here. You'll feel that in your right gluteus maximus muscle. We are stretching and relaxing that muscle we just worked. Feeling that stretch here. Reverse pigeon. Three more breaths. Shoulders relax down towards the earth. Head melts onto the earth. Two more breaths. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. We're going to switch sides. Relaxing that right leg slightly. We're going to breathe that left. Lower leg over that right thigh. Feeling that cross. We are in that reverse pigeon pose. Opposite side. You'll, we're going to breathe that leg towards our chest. You'll feel this stretch here in your left. gluteus maximus muscle. As our shoulders are relaxed down towards the earth. Our heads are on the earth. Feeling those shoulders just connect to the earth. Taking a breath. Exhale. Two more breaths. Exhaling. Hugging our knees into our chest. Lifting our feet straight up in the air. We are on that legs on a wall pose or invisible wall in our case. Pointing those toes upwards towards the ceiling. Reaching our hands down to our lower legs. We're going to breathe our legs towards our torso. Connecting them to our ankles or our feet. Our buttocks can slightly come off the earth if we choose.
Exhale and back to center. We're going to come into a wide legged, bringing those legs out towards the side. Just feeling that stretch here in our inner thighs. Two more breaths. Exhale, breathing our legs back to legs on the wall. Breathing our knees into our chest. We're going to roll onto our side, coming into a fetus pose. Relaxing here. We can put a blanket between our thighs if we choose. Putting a blanket between our thighs allows us to help keep our hips leveled out. This helps with hip pain as well. We're going to relax here in our fetal pose if, with the eyes gaze down or slightly closed if that feels good for you. Taking a nice deep breath. Yes, we relax and soothe the mind and body. May we use this fetal pose to go inwards, taking a moment to focus on self, noticing how we feel here in our present moment. Simply being aware of our present moment, of the thoughts and the emotions we may have, being mindful. Always being kind and loving to oneself, no matter the thoughts and emotions we may be experiencing. Loving ourselves here as we relax. Silent meditation, fetal pose, seven natural breaths. Three more breaths. Slowly wiggling our toes, moving our hips at our, moving our butt outside our hips, just awakening the body. Slowly opening up the eyes if they were closed, or we can option to keep those eyes closed. As we use our top hand to push our bodies up into a seated pose, any seated pose of choice, I'm going to come into a cow face legs, crossing one leg over the other. Tummy to tight, tucked in at our navel. Spinal cords are nice and elongated here. Shoulders are relaxed downward away from the ears. Their heart chakras open, that chin is up. Eyes are slightly gazed down to close if that feels good for you. As we take a nice breath, exhale through the mouth. Ensuring that our facial muscles are relaxed. Our chin is relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. Breathing our palms to heart center, coming into that seated prayer as we go inwards, thanking ourselves for practicing. Four breaths of silence. Two more breaths. I would like to thank you all for allowing Grace and myself and for all the speakers who spoke today, Cheryl, and everyone else who gave their advice, tuned in just to showing up, just to being here with us on and off camera. The presence is definitely felt and appreciated. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste. Namaste.